بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 015 grammar unit 1 lesson 3 the simple present tense the learning objectives dear students by the end of this lesson you will be able to form the simple present tense appropriately recognize the use of the simple present tense the simple present tense affirmative statements use the base form of the verb for example play with the personal pronouns I, you, we or they or with the plural form of nouns so in the present simple tense we use the base form of the verb after the pronouns I, you, we or they or after any plural form of nouns now what do we mean by the base form of the verb now pay attention to this example the verb play has four forms we have play we have plays we have playing and we have played now the best form of the, uh, the, the verb play is the first one play okay now plays is not a best form why because here we have s Playing is not a base form. Why? Because here we have ing. Played is not a base form because it has ed at the end. So these are called suffixes. So when we delete the suffix, then we'll have the base form. So the base form of the verb means the verb without any suffixes. Examples. I speak English. You play football. We study hard. They sleep early. Notice here that after the ver after the personal pronouns, I, you, we, and they, we use the base form of the verb. The verb without any suffixes, without s, without ing, without ed. So in the present simple tense, we use the base form of the verb after the personal pronouns I, you, we, or they, or after any plural form of nouns. Use the base form of the verb plus S or ES, for example, plays, with the personal pronouns he, she, it, or with the singular form of nouns. So, when the subject is either he, she, or it, or a singular form of nouns we need to add s or es to the verb examples he teaches English he teaches English notice here that we add es to the verb because the subject is he she helps her mother she helps her mother notice here also we add S to the verb because the subject is she it rains a lot we add s to the verb because the subject is it Tom plays tennis also here we add s to the verb because the subject is a singular noun Tom okay so when the subject is he she it or a singular form of noun we need to add s or es the simple present tense negative statements and contractions use do not or the contracted form don't plus the base form of the verb for example do not play with the personal pronouns i you we or they or with the plural form of nouns examples I don't speak English. Notice here we use do not after the pronoun I. Okay? And the contracted form is don't. I don't speak English. You do not play football. Notice here also we use do not okay after the subject you and the contracted form is you don't play football. We do not study hard. Again, here also we use do not after the subject we and the contracted form is we don't study 
hard. Another example. They do not sleep early. Again, notice here we use do not after the pronoun they and the contracted form they don't sleep early. So, again, after the personal pronouns I, you, we, and they, we use do not plus the base form of the verb. The base form of the verb. Use does not or the contracted form doesn't plus the base form of the verb. For example, doesn't go with the personal pronouns he, she, it or with singular form of nouns. So when we have he, she or it or any singular form of nouns as a subject, we have to use does not or doesn't plus the base form of the verb. Examples. He does not go to school. Notice here that we use the negative form does not go after the pronoun he. He does not go to school. Can we say here he do not go? No, we cannot. This is incorrect. This is wrong. Why? Because the subject pronoun he is followed by does not. It cannot be followed by do not. Now, the contracted form, he doesn't go to school. He doesn't go to school. Another example. She does not teach English. She does not teach English. Notice here also we use does not after the pronoun she. The contracted form, she doesn't teach English. It does not rain a lot. It does not rain a lot. And also, we use does not after the pronoun it, the contracted form. It doesn't rain a lot. Notice here that after does not, okay, we use the base form, the base form. So, we cannot say he doesn't or he does not goes. No, this is wrong. Okay, we, we need to remove or delete the ES. So we have to say, he doesn't go to school. It doesn't rain a lot. Can we say, it doesn't rains a lot? No, we have to delete the S. So in the negative form, we use the base form of the verb. So be careful. Don't add the S or the ES to the base form with doesn't. So when we use doesn't, okay, delete the S, okay, delete the S or the ES. So we cannot say it doesn't rains, okay, delete the S. The simple present tense, yes, no questions. Begin your yes, no question with do, with the personal pronouns I, you, we, or they, or with the plural form of nouns. So, start your question with the verb do plus the personal pronoun plus the base form of the verb and then complete your question. So, again, we start with do plus the pronoun, okay, the personal pronoun I, you, we, or they, or with a noun, a plural noun, for example, students, schools, plus the base form of the verb and then complete your question. Examples. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? So notice here that we start the question with do and then we have the pronoun, the subject and after that we have the base form of the verb. Do you speak English? The answer could be yes, I do. I speak English very well. Another example. Do they live in a house? Notice here also, we start the question with the verb do. After that, we have the pronoun, the subject pronoun, they. And after that, we have the base form of the verb live. Do they live in a house? No, they don't. They live in an apartment. Begin your yes, no question with does, with the personal pronouns he, she, or it or with a singular form of nouns. So start your question with does plus he or she or 
it okay or it or we can use a noun for example okay Ali uh, Hoda class etc plus the base form of the verb the base form of the verb and then complete your question so again start your question with does plus he she or it or any singular noun Ali Huda class etc plus the base form of the verb without s okay so remember that when we start the question with does delete the s or the es examples does Sammy know your email address notice here the question starts with does then we have a noun a singular noun after that we have the base form of the verb does Sammy know your email can we say does Sammy knows no this is wrong we have to delete the s y because the question starts with the verb does okay so this is incorrect remove the s yes he does this is the answer or we can put an affirmative statement sammy knows my email address another example does it rain a lot in your city again this question starts with does because the subject is it after that we have the base form does it rain a lot in your city again can we say does it rains no we cannot we have to delete the s why because here we have okay the verb does this question starts with the verb does so whenever your question starts with the verb does you have to delete okay the s or the es so the answer could be no it doesn't it doesn't rain a lot in my city notice here that also we don't have s here why because we have doesn't so whenever you use does or doesn't delete the s use only the base form of the verb again be careful don't add the s or es to the base form with does so whenever you use the the verb does you have to delete the s or the es the simple present tense wh questions begin your wh question with a question word so in wh questions we start the question with a question word for example what where when who why how what time etc okay then use the same word order as in yes no question okay the same word order this means that we start the question with wh word plus okay plus do or does plus the subject okay plus the base form of the verb the base form of the verb and then complete your question now remember the subject could be a pronoun okay could be a pronoun he she or it or it could be I you we are they or it could be a noun it could be also a noun it could be a noun for example okay Ahmad students etc examples where does your friend live notice here that this question starts with a question word followed by does followed by the subject a singular noun followed by the best form of the verb where does your friend live the answer he lives in London notice here that when we use does we don't add s to the verb okay so don't say lives or don't use the s so you have to delete the s we have to use live another example what time does your class begin the question word here is what time followed by the verb does followed by the subject okay a singular noun followed by the base for the base form of the verb so again notice here that whenever we use does we need to delete the s we cannot say begins no this is incorrect okay this is incorrect mike the answer my class begins at 9 
30. My class begins at 9.30. So again, the word order is very important in forming questions. First, number one, start with a question word. Then use do or does. Then you need to use the subject, either noun or pronoun. After that, we you need to use the base form of the verb. Then complete your question. Another example. What do you do in your free time? Again, here notice that we start with a question word, followed by the helpful verb do. The subject here is a pronoun, it is you. After that, we have the main verb, the base form. Then complete your question. The answer, I read a lot, and sometimes I go to the gym with my friends. The simple present tense. Use the simple present tense to talk about something that happens all the time or repeatedly, i.e. usual activities and habits. Examples. Ali works all day and studies at night. Notice here that these two actions happen repeatedly as usual activities. Another example, I get up at 6, I get up at 6. Also, this action happens repeatedly. This is a habit or this is a usual activity. The simple present tense also can be used to talk about how often something happens, how often something happens. Example, my little sister sometimes helps her mother in the kitchen. Notice here that we use the present simple tense with the adverb of frequency, with the adverb frequency sometime. They seldom take a vacation. They seldom take a vacation. Again, okay, this verb here is used in the simple present tense because of the adverb of frequency. So with adverb frequencies, we use the simple present tense. The simple present tense also can be used to talk about uh, something that is true in general, i.e. facts. Examples. The sun rises in the east. The sun rises in the east. This is a fact, okay? So notice here that this sentence is the present uh, simple tense. We add S to the verb because the subject here is a singular noun. Another example. Birds fly. Also notice here that this is uh, fact and the subject here is plural this is a plural noun so we use the base form of the verb without s thank you for listening